In the previous video, we learned the basics of creating and configuring spectrum engines. In this video, we'll learn more about the options for spectrum measurements in SMART. Let's start by enabling the generator device in ioconfig. SMART will create a spectrum engine that will allow us to look directly at the output from the built-in generator. Let's start the generator and then start the spectrum engine. The colored circle is used to show or hide the measurement. It's important to understand that it keeps running and generating data even if it's hidden. If you stop the measurement engine, it is automatically hidden. But we can show it again, and you can see the measurement data is still sitting in the engine's averaging buffer. The input meter on the engine shows the input signal level. Our target level for a healthy measurement is somewhere around negative 12 dBFS, which is right where the meter turns from green to yellow. We can access global spectrum measurement settings by clicking on the spectrum label at the top of the control bar to open the measurement settings dialog directly to the spectrum tab. Here we can set the FFT size and if you're using Smart RT or Smart Suite, you can also select the data window used by the spectrum measurement engines. Note that any non-default data window setting will disable banding. At the bottom of this dialog is a button to jump into the spectrum graph settings dialog, which we'll cover more in a future video. The averaging setting at the top of the control bar is the global averaging setting that will affect all of the spectrum engines within SMART unless we've told individual engines to do otherwise. You can select from a series of FIFO, first in, first out, averagers, or longer integrated averagers. At any time, you can flush the averaging buffer by pressing the V key on your keyboard or the reset average button on the command bar. Now let's look at the Spectrum engine configuration by double-clicking directly on an engine to open the measurement config flyout directly to that engine's settings. At the top, the arrows near the measurement's name allow you to choose which measurement engine's details we're viewing. You can also select an engine directly by clicking it in the control bar. By default, each engine will follow the global settings for FFT size and averaging, although you can give it unique settings by unchecking Use Global and making a selection. In Display Settings, you can set a color for the engine. The Plot setting controls whether the engine displays in the top or the bottom plot whenever two of the same type are visible. If you're using Smart Suite or RT, which support weightings for spectrum data, you can also override the plot's weighting setting here. At the bottom, you can choose the input device and input channel providing the signal to the measurement engine. Now we know how to configure spectrum engine settings. In the next video, we'll look at spectrum graph settings.